Tubular sealant can be messy business, but that mess can go to a whole nother level if you're unlucky enough to puncture when you're out on a ride, spraying the stuff all over your frame and wheels. But how do you go about sorting that mess out? Let's find out. Tubular sealants are designed to fix punctures quickly and effectively. However, the downside of that is if we get it onto our wheels and onto the paintwork of our frame, it dries pretty quickly too. So the first step you need to do to remove it is try and wash that off with some water. Now, when you're out on the roadside, that's pretty easy. You just take some water from your water bottle and rinse it off as best as you can. That's going to be the first step to making life super easy when you get home. Now, if you live in the UK or somewhere like the UK and it rains 300 out of the 365 days a year, life's going to be pretty easy because the rain is going to do the job for you and wash most of that stuff off. Now, if you don't try and wash the sealant off as soon as it gets onto your frame or wheels, you're going to make your life a little bit harder when you get home. And you'll only have yourself to blame and don't say I didn't warn you. Once you've made it home and by the time you've had a shower, had your lunch, uploaded your ride, shared your ride on social media, checked to see if you've got any PBs and watched all the kudos roll in, well that tubeless sealant is going to be pretty well dried on. First step to removing it is simply wash your bike using your normal methods and your cleaning products. Then using the hose pipe or maybe even the jet wash, you can blast off as much of that tubeless sealant as possible. Fingers crossed, most of it is going to come off pretty easy. At this point, you can take your microfiber cloth and simply dry off and rub any remaining sealant that's left. But when you're doing this, you do need to be careful because if any grit and dirt has got into the sealant and dried into it as well, well, you're going to scratch the hell out of either your wheels or your frame, and nobody wants that. So apply a bit of caution. If that's worked for you, happy days. Head inside, make yourself a coffee in your favourite GCN mug available at shop.global cycling network. Put your feet up and chill. It's job done for you. Now, if that hasn't worked for you, or like the wheel here, you're still left with a little bit of tubeless residue on there, you're going to need to call for backup in the form of a glue and sealant remover such as this. There's loads of different types out there, but the benefit of using one like this, which is designed for use on bikes, is that it should be safe and suitable for the types of finishes and the materials used in our bikes. First thing you're gonna to need to do, simply read the back of your can to make sure you follow the instructions relevant to the type of glue or sealant remover you're using. So on here, shake product well before use. Job done. Spray onto the rim area to be cleaned. Leave the product to act for five to 10 minutes to take effect. Rub or agitate with a microfiber cloth. And then it says to allow any remaining product to evaporate off the surface and any residue that's left after that, you can just take another clean microfiber cloth and wipe off anything that's left on there. And you can see we've left with a nice clean surface. For the ultimate finish and to help make your bike glisten again, you can just use a bike polish or similar product to make it shine. But if you are applying it onto your wheels, make sure you don't get it over the braking surface. Looks like job done to me. So now you can head inside, make yourself a coffee, put your feet up and watch as much live racing as you can on GCN Plus. And if you never remove that horrid dried on sealant, your bike and wheels are going to end up looking like the inside of this horrid cup of manky old dried tubeless sealant. Oh. Hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If you have, click that like and thumbs up button. And if you have any tips of your own, get them in the comments section down below. And I can't wait to see how many people put, oh, yeah, tip number one, don't use tubeless tires. I mean, those comments never get old. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe because it really helps to support the channel. See you later.